healthy voyages presents you this video on history of lipid discovery history of lipid discovery is amazing the lipid science is progressing on a daily basis and help better manage your health let us now see the amazing history of lipid discovery the history of lipid and cardiac care is fascinating and dates back to thousands of years the present information has developed over decades here we try providing a comprehensive history of cholesterol heart and vascular disease the first heart diagram the first diagram of heart was from the paleolithic era a cave in el pindal spain blood circulation for many years people thought the liver be the center of circulation andreas vesalis in 1555 refuted this The Italian Andreas Casalpino was the first to use the term blood circulation. In 1628, a physician William Harvey noted the heart pumping blood around the body. The cholesterol timeline. In 1758, French doctor Francois Paul de de la Salle isolated solid cholesterol from gallstones. In 1815, French chemist Michel Eugène Sival isolated and purified sterol from gallstones and he named it as cholesterol in 1838 louis rena lecano identified the presence of cholesterol in human blood in 1927 wieland and adolf windas got nobel prize for cholesterol and bilacids structure in 1964 dr konrad block received the nobel prize for explaining cholesterol synthesis He showed HMG CoA reductase was an enzyme in this complex synthesis. The cholesterol serves as a precursor for bile acids, sex hormones, and cortisol. Conrad Bloch and Fyodor Lenin awarded the Nobel Prize for cholesterol and fatty acids metabolism. Japan physicians warned low cholesterol has a link with stroke. Stroke is the number one cause of death in Japan. When Japanese people increased their fat intake, the incidence of deadly stroke declined. Anthrosclerosis timeline. In 1852, Irish physician Richard Quine observed fatty material deposition in the blood vessels and described it as anthrosclerosis. He attributed this to local modification of nutrient. He linked the fatty heart to lacking energy, improper circulation and distressed breathing. Additionally, chest oppression or uneasiness, coma, syncope, angina pectoris, and sudden death. In 1854, Dr. Rudolf Virchow described atherosclerosis as a disease. He considered atrial clog is due to excess cholesterol deposition. The lipoprotein timeline. You can't blame firemen for their presence in the fire accident spot. In 1951, Dr. David Burr, Edward Russ, and Howard Eder analyzed heart patients' heart. They found heart patients have elevated LDL and decreased HDL levels. In a 10-year study, Goffman and his colleagues studied ischemic heart disease patients. They found these patients have low level of HDL and high levels of LDL, IDL, and small VLDL. In 1975 to 1980 studies found elevated LDL cholesterol and decreased HDL cholesterol are independent heart disease predictors in 1985 Michael Brown and Joseph Goldstein awarded a Nobel prize for LDL pathway discovery later Brown and Goldstein noted an enzyme involved in the regulation of cholesterol generation familial hyperlipidemia In 1973 Joseph Goldstein was the one of the founders of modern cholesterol research he genetically classified the type of cholesterol carrying lipoprotein in the blood Joseph Goldstein and Arno Motulsky found familial hyperlipidemia has linked to premature heart disease Michael Brown and Joseph Goldstein found genetics behind the inability to, to remove LDL Michael Brown and Joseph Goldstein showed familial hyperlipidemia patients had defects in LDL receptors. This defect leads to premature death due to atherosclerosis. Lipid hypothesis. Rabbits are herbivorous. They only eat grass, fruits and vegetables. 
they never eat cholesterol rich food thus their digestive system not practiced to handle cholesterol in 1913 nikale anitskaskov established a link between cholesterol and atherosclerosis he discovered this link after feeding rabbits with purified cholesterol leading scientists never considered any relevance between rabbit and human in 1937 biochemist david rettenberg and rudolf sanheimer studied dietary cholesterol effects they demonstrated dietary cholesterol had negligible blood cholesterol effect in 1953 ansel keys convinced that dietary fat is the cause of heart disease he published seven country analysis suggesting an association between fat and mortality from heart disease let us to research studies demystify ansel keys lipid hypothesis in 1956 uresalmi and helibo pointed out ansel key collected data from 22 countries but ansel key selectively used only seven results that fall in line with his views moreover ansel key has missed in his study other factors such as sugar consumption still most people accepted his diet hot hypothesis British diabetes expert John Atkin suggested sucrose was an important risk than animal fat. Keyes and Atkin had a spirited debate. Unfortunately, Key won. It's our bad luck. Dr. Ankil Key won John Atkin. Otherwise, today our health may be in better shape. In 1956, American Heart Association declared butter, eggs and beef increase coronary disease risk. In 1963 Dr Ansel Key established a link between saturated fat and high blood cholesterol. In 1963 Drs Sami Hazim and Theodore von Italy found cholesteramine lower cholesterol. In 1964 physiologist John Yetkin noted sucrose consumption had important association with heart disease. Low fat and low carb timeline In 1863, William Batting published Letter on Corpulence. Batting lost 5 pounds on high-fat, carbohydrate-restricted diet. In 1961, Peterence and Margaret Albrick reported a link between high triglyceride and heart disease. Peterence and Margaret Albrick noted low-fat, high-carbohydrate diet raises triglyceride. Thus, carbohydrates can increase the risk towards heart disease. In 1970, Margaret Albrick, Peter Kuo, Lars Carlson, and Johnson Goldstein reported high triglycerides were common in heart patients than cholesterol. They confirmed the majority of the people with heart disease had carbohydrate-induced lipemia. A single wrong FDA decision affected our health. In 1976, FDA gave generally regarded as safe status to trans fat. hydrogenated vegetable oil lipid biochemist mary enig warned the government about the danger of trans fat trans fat interferes with insulin receptors on the cell membrane and increases the diabetes risk in 2005 american dietary guidelines weakly concerned to limit trans fat in 1977 us senate led by george mcgovern published the dietary goal eat less fat saturated and cholesterol finally key's unproven hypothesis become the cornerstone of us nutrition policies and education in 1977 dr george mann described the diet hot hypothesis as the greatest scam in the history of medicine this statement was published in the new england journal of medicine in 1978 high fructose corn syrup entered the sweetener market HFCs created a metabolic traffic jam in the liver results in both greater insulin production and insulin resistance at the same time cholesterol test timeline in 1934 a blood test for cholesterol developed in 1954 dr john goffman found patients with heart disease had high small density ldl and reduced large hdl in 1955 Dr Richard Howell Howard Eder and Carl Bragdon developed ultra centrifugation technique 
They used it to isolate plasma lipoproteins. Around 1959, John William Goffman researched on identification, quantification and clinical implications of lipoproteins. He identified three major classes of lipoproteins in serum. They are VLDL, LDL and HDL. Carberg discovered lipoprotein A or LPA in 1963. In May 2007 the Journal of Clinical Lipidology named him as the father of clinical lipidology in 1965 Dr Carr found elevated level of lipoprotein A associated with heart disease in 1967 Dr Donald Fredrickson Robert Levy and Robert Lees classified five types of lipoprotein disorders they are type 1 elevated chylomicron type 2 elevated low density lipoprotein or ldl type 3 high intermittent density lipoprotein or idl type 4 elevated very low density lipoprotein or vldl type 5 elevated chylomicron and vldl in 1969 dr burstein developed a technique to precipitate chylomicron vldl and ldl this method can allow for the measurement of hdl cholesterol Dr William Fredewalt, Robert Levy and Donald Fredrickson developed the Fredewalt formula. This approach calculates LDL cholesterol based on fasting total cholesterol, HDL cholesterol and triglyceride. Cholesterol treatment timeline. In 1955, Canadian doctor Rudolf Altschul found high doses of niacin could lower cholesterol level. In 1975, Dr. Paul L. Kanner and his colleagues found niacin treatment reduces heart disease. In 1976, Japanese biochemist Akiro Endo isolated HMG CoA reductase inhibitor called compactin. Akiro Endo isolated it from the fungus strain Penicillium citrinum. This inhibitor leads to the first statin drug to reduce the level of cholesterol in the blood. In 1984, Lipid Research Clinic Coronary Primary Prevention Trial led by Dr. Robert Levy and his colleagues found cholesteramine reduces heart disease risk in high cholesterol men. In 1987, Mivacor was the first cholesterol lowering statin drug approved in record time. Statin drugs reduce both cholesterol and coenzyme Q10. The heart muscles needs CoQ10 and use it the most. No surprise the congestive heart failure incident has more than doubled since 1990 Merck has a patent on combining CoQ10 with statin but it is waiting for decades In 1987 Dr Al Albrecht and Roy Wagalas gave the first HMG CoA reductase inhibitor levostatin to the world market to control high cholesterol In 1997 Dr Harry Davis and his colleagues developed azetamib an agent inhibit cholesterol absorption inflammation is the number one risk factor for the plaque formation in the arteries in 2008 Dr Paul Ritker and his colleagues reported rosuvastatin lowered heart disease risk with normal ldl cholesterol and high crp in the jupiter trial a high level of crp in the blood is a sign that there is an inflammation process occurring in the body that's all from this video hope you enjoy this video press thumbs up to show your love subscribe to our video channel for interesting videos and visit healthy-ojas.com for useful information on diabetes cholesterol high and low blood pressure eye and sleep problems